Hello from the National Weather Service in Missoula. This is your planning briefing for Sunday, December 18th. Looking at the key points, we do have a fairly widespread snowfall across northwest Montana today, uh, transitioning gradually southward uh, late this afternoon and tonight. Uh, there's a potential for some heavier enhanced snow rates with snow squalls. We'll talk more about that as that Arctic air remains in place across northwest Montana and the divide. Uh, widespread, moderate to heavy snow, gusty winds, low wind chills are expected Tuesday into Wednesday. We'll talk more about that as well. And then uh, extreme cold Thursday, area-wide. Looking at the, uh, the weather threat matrix. Definitely the focus, as you can see, is on Tuesday and Wednesday as far as, you know, the, the snow, wind, cold temperature impact. And then on Thursday being being the, the very cold temperatures. We'll just keep moving forward and get into the details. All right. So this is a uh, model reflectivity in animation going from this afternoon, Sunday afternoon, through uh, Monday morning. A uh, couple things to note. Just uh, for this afternoon, widespread snow in northwest Montana. Uh, as we get into the evening hours, afternoon, I'm sorry, evening and overnight hours, you can see there's some enhancement mostly uh, west of Missoula into north central Idaho, Clearwater County. And then another thing to take note of is all this does sag southward and uh, during the, the later night hours should should be impacting uh, the Missoula Bitterroot area as well. So kind of a messy Monday morning commute. Let's talk a little bit more about the details. I just took three different forecast models, their precipitation forecast through uh, midday on Monday. I just really wanted to focus in on, on uh, this area here that I had talked about. Generally, I-90 west of Missoula, and then say Highway 12 uh, west of Missoula. There's, there's certainly some indications in the models, and you can see it here, of, of some enhanced uh, snowfall due to snow squalls. So that's something to keep in mind. If we look at the actual uh, forecast amounts, uh, we generally have, and this, this, this is a uh, today, Sunday through through Monday late afternoon. One to three inches for a lot of the valleys of western Montana and then into north central Idaho as well. Not, not much in the way of snowfall for much of uh, southwest Montana and Lemhi County. Um, then some higher totals like Lookout Pass and Lolo Pass anywhere from five to ten inches and once again keep in mind those enhanced uh, snowfall rates with those convective bands uh, later today and tonight. Another thing that, that stands out, wind chills negative 10 to negative 30 continue over northwest Montana during this period. And then as we move into Monday night and Tuesday, it looks like a, a, a decent possibility of just some fairly widespread uh, light snowfall to continue, especially uh, across uh, like the I-90 corridor and just southward. So that'll most likely keep things, keep things kind of messy. Uh, just wanted to look at this animation here. This is... Uh, 850 millibar temperatures and wind. So this is about 5,000 feet uh, mean sea level. So just above the surface in a lot of places, at least above the valleys. It just gives a, a, an indication of, of the, the surge of moisture, I'm sorry, surge of uh, Arctic air as it passes down. So this animation starts on uh, Tuesday afternoon and then progresses all the way through Thursday morning. It's about to loop around. So this is Tuesday afternoon. You can see the Arctic air is kind of... Uh, bottled up and then on Wednesday full force comes across the entire area including into north central Idaho. So with that surge we're expecting uh, widespread moderate to heavy snowfall, wind gusts 25 to 35 leading to at least in western Montana wind chills of negative 20 to negative 40 and it is looking more likely that we will see difficult to hazardous travel uh, dur during that later Tuesday into into Wednesday period. Uh, just, just looking at the probability of at least two inches of snowfall, you see a lot of uh, 70, 80 percent at least across the entire area. Looking at uh, greater than four inches of snowfall, a similar trend, uh, 60, 70, 80 percent chance across a large part of the area. So it, it does look to be very widespread and affect, affect uh, much of the area. Uh, you do look further south, say into Limhigh County, not so much, and perhaps along the Canadian border, not, not as much either. Looking at the actual expected storm total snowfall, so this would be midday Tuesday through uh, late 
Wednesday afternoon. You can see, see the focus here, uh, kind of the, the Mission Valley uh, southward to about Lost Trail and also including much of North Central Idaho. Uh, lots, of, lots of valley locations seeing two, three, four inches. Uh, some of the valley locations say around, the, around Missoula and further west, we have six to eight inches of snow. Grangeville, four to six inches. Up on the passes, uh, eight to 12, at least on the, the western passes. So a decent snowfall event. Uh, the heavy snow does look to be Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Uh, another thing to keep in mind with this this uh, locally heavy snowfall, there could be some tree fall, maybe some snow fly, uh, yeah, sorry, snow slides, possibly due to that locally heavy snow. Some of those common areas, uh, say west of Missoula on, on Highway 12 or west of Missoula on I-90, just something to keep in mind. Getting into Thursday, we talked about that extreme cold. So this is the forecast temperatures for Thursday morning. So you can see widespread zero to well below zero readings. We have uh, Missoula 22 below, 19 below at Kalispell, 29 below at Butte, down to zero in Grangeville. During the day on Thursday, uh, we do look to struggle to get much into the, even just barely into the single digits across Western Montana. So you can see three, four, five degrees for the high temperatures, uh, teens across North Central Idaho. And uh, Thursday does look to be a dry day, so cold and dry. Another, another perspective here, uh, looking at the, uh, the, the men temperature forecast here on the left-hand side, and then the record low on the right-hand side, highlighted in blue, the, the, the locations that, that would either tie or break their record low for that date. So you can kind of look over that data if you want. And then high temperatures on Thursday. You can see the forecast high temperatures here on the left for different locations. And then you can also see the uh, record uh, low high temperature for, for, that, for that particular location. So a kind of a, uh, a, perspective, uh, a perspective as far as climatology. Another way of looking at this, these are our six hour projections of, of uh, temperature in Fahrenheit going from today all the way through Friday. Um, you can see the different locations. And if you want to take some time to look at this, it'll kind of give you perspective. But you can certainly see the emphasis on the coldest temperatures being uh, Wednesday night and Thursday morning. Now, maybe moving even further ahead, um, six to 10 day outlook. Mostly we're trying to focus here on the Christmas weekend. Uh, precipitation expected to be above normal. So the active pattern continues. But one thing to keep in mind is it does look to be trending warmer. So going from extremely cold back to more seasonable temperatures, concerns would be, especially, especially Christmas, yeah, Chris, sorry about that, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day would be a wintry mix in the valleys. So potential for freezing rain. And then as temperatures warm, and with those rain possibilities, just keep in mind, if it does warm up enough, ponding of water, perhaps some clogged, clogged culverts, plugged culverts because of, you know, all the, all the snow and all the, the ice that's built up in those. So just a few things to keep in mind as, as you look toward Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Next briefing is scheduled for Thursday, December 22nd. Uh, for even more detailed info, check out weather.gov forward slash MSO forward slash winter briefing for even more details. Uh, keep in mind, this has been a, a certainly a very changeable forecast as we've, we've moved into it. So it, it'll continue to be important to, to keep up with the latest uh, forecast as, as especially Tuesday night and Wednesday as the, the focus for the heaviest snow could still shift uh, in location. So thank you for listening. Have a good day.